Good morning, believers. Good morning, Gentiles. <coughs> Good morning, Gentiles. <laughs> Good morning, those who have the faith of Jesus Christ, the Yahawashai Hamashiach, the Joshua. Peace. <laughs> oh, my God. Good morning. Word of Truth, J.D. Nyjah. Bible teaching with J.D. Nyjah. Well, I think I finally reached my limit with um, Great Millstone, these black Hebrew Israelites. Um, I think I'm just, I mean, there's a lot of fodder there to, um, to deal with because they're just, they're so wrong all the time. All wrong all the time not all the time they they have some things that are right but um, it's interesting how they're instead of teaching anything new instead of getting on something that has changed their doctrine has probably been the same since 1962 I mean I don't see where where they're they're getting any knowledge in in the scriptures. They're going backwards, if anything. So we we know now that the um, everybody's Israel now, right? We're all Israel. All the Gentiles are Israel. All the heathen are Israel. Everyone's Israel. Everyone's a Negro. Everyone's a Latino. Everybody. The only people of the Bible is Israel, and everyone in the book is, is Israel. All the Gentiles are Israel. Everybody's Israel. That's what, they, that's what they're trying to say. Everybody's Israel. There's no, the, all the Gentiles are Israel. There's no... I, I don't know why we call them Gentiles. Why don't we just call them Israel? Because they're Israel. Oh, they're Israelite foreigners. They wandered off. Whatever, dudes. You guys are whack. So I looked up Gentiles again. I don't know. I don't know how long um, I'm going to keep doing this. This is like um, going back to kindergarten. Let's go back to kindergarten. Uh -huh -huh. Get on the small bus with the GMS boys. Get on the small bus and ride down to the to the corner. Man, you would think after all this time the Negro mentality would like at least Kevin Samuels tried to like dress it up and, and use big words and, and, and speak right and all that. These guys just want to speak like fucking like Ebonics bullshit. <laughs> fucking wake up you dummies. So again, I went to Acts. I went, I looked into the Gentiles <sighs> It's not difficult. Acts 15 says it more than clearly enough. We'll go through it one more time. These guys are just spun out. And they're not going to repent, so I'm going to try not to get mad. Let's just teach it one more time. Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles, the Gentiles, be it those who wandered off, from the temple and went out into the world and went, you know what? I think I better act like these Hellenists or I'm going to get strung up on a fucking pole and burnt to death. I think I'll, I think I'll just get kind of when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Yeah. That's what Rome is. That's what these idiots are trying to do. They're trying to make everyone think um, that um, owning a home and having a degree and walking the ways of this world are the way to go. It's not. I just listened to a message from um, Grace to You. It's um, what's that pastor's name? Um, John MacArthur. This guy runs circles around Apostle Tahar. Runs circles around Gabar. He knows the meaning of the book. He's not trying to make you think nonsense. 
So these Gentiles, these ones that wandered off, and the ones that were actually Romans, that were born of the Greeks, born of the, um, the other nations, They, they never, they, they didn't know about the temple. All they knew is they didn't like Israelites. But as time went on, they started to see, you know what? These people are, they have some good things about them. Why, why is there, why is there miracles surrounding them? Why, um, why do they act different? Why do they love each other different? Why are they different than us? Why are they not so vicious? Why are they so peaceful? And people started to realize, you know what? I don't want to stick anybody with a sword. I'd rather sit down and have a nice meal and laugh and talk about how wonderful my family is and good things. And that's what a believer is. He wants good things. These guys don't want good things. All they talk about is the uh, the end of the world, famine, no water. All oh, these nigga women are fucking twerking in my in my fucking laundry room. <laughs> That's what niggas do, <laughs> dummies. If you want to straighten niggas out, look in the mirror. You guys have no love. You're you're full of hate. You don't you you wouldn't know good if it hit you upside the head. And I I know you have it in you. You guys are just fighting your own god. You're kicking against the goads. You don't like Saul, but you act just like him. Oh, I can't give up my 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 position. <laughs> I'm an elder apostle. <laughs> Who are you? I'm JD Nyjah, bitch. You'll know me when my Lord comes. I'll be the one that's rounding you cats up. Slaves. Yeah, we'll see who the slaves are. So let's go into this. Gentiles. Why, why do you think the word... Why do you think it's Gentile? You ever think about that? Gentile. What's, the, what's one of the closest words to Gentile? Gentle. What's a Gentile? Someone who's gentle. I've spoken about this in other videos. The Gentiles are just the ones that don't know any better. They, they're seeking a God they hardly know. They're gentle. And all you do is beat up on... on Anyone that's not um, an angry um, Negro or an angry um, Israelite. You suck me into that stuff. I was becoming an angry Israelite. That, that's obsolete, man. Your, your whole religion is flunky. I noticed half these dudes are disappearing. GMA, GMS upon precepts five. Jamaica guy haven't seen him in two weeks what happened I thought you guys were all supposed to do three videos a week I'm, do I'm doing circles around you fuckers Salakia you know why because I have something to say you guys you guys have run out of anything to say how many times can you say we hate Esau Edom and we're, and we're the best. We're, we're Israel. We're, we're the only ones that have 100% truth. Um, how many times can you say the nigga bitch is um, twerking in my uh, laundry room? And on the... It, it, you guys are whacked out of your minds. You need to go, go back into the Christian church and learn the Bible. Talk about Christians like, like they're... Um, like they're some other kind of uh, being... Yeah, they are. They're not like you. They're not wicked. They're simple, gentle Gentiles. Let's read this. Let's dispute over circumcision. Fucking get me all wound up. Feeling a little bit better, obviously, huh? I'm going to turn this around. Yeah, seems to be working all right. 
and certain men, Acts 15, 1, and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. These are these black Hebrew Israelites that go by the law only. The law is over, dudes. The law, you're going you're gonna to end up hanging yourself by your own um, millstone. You're stupid. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no, mo no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other men should go up to Jerusalem under the apostles and elders about this question. So what's going on here? Paul and Barnabas are like, you guys are, you GMS boys are whack. We, we need to go up to the temple and settle this because your nonsense is um, is driving us crazy, is what the, that's saying. You guys are driving normal, loving Christians insane and being brought on their way by the church. It doesn't say temple, it says church. What are the churches? The churches are the ones that were formed in the name of Jesus Christ, of Solomon, of Yahshua. They're the ones that followed the spirit of the Messiah. Do you get it, GMS? That's what the church is. It doesn't say temple, it says church. They passed through Phoenicia and Samaria declaring the converse the conversion of the Gentiles and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Where's your joy, GMS? Great millstone. Great dummies. You have no joy. No one wants to hear your I hate white men. White men are the devil. <laughs> Fucking babies. We're all devils. Dummies, you're devils. You'd think once in a while one of these videos where I'm acting a fool, they would go... <laughs> it would go viral, but... No one wants to see a white guy get mad at Negroes, I guess. I don't know. Dumb Negroes. At that. Small bus. Small bus! And when they had come to Jerusalem... They were received of the church. <sighs> Do you guys know the difference between the church and the Israelites? That's the difference between the believers, the, the Gentiles, the, the Christians, and Israel. You get you give nothing, you give nothing to the church. It says it in here a hundred times. In Revelation, it says it to the church. What am I doing teaching you dummies? You're supposed to have 100% truth. They were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that God had done with them. Okay. Let us tell you what's going on with us. We saw Yahawashai raise people from the dead. We've been going through giving people the Holy Spirit. We, us, have been going on to the Gentiles and preaching the the gospel, the, the good news to the people who are in bondage to this nonsense world. We have been in this book day and night exhorting each other and loving each other and singing psalms and praises to our to our God. Yeah, right on. Yeah, yeah, we heard about you guys. Right on, good. Now that we got that settled. But there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees, which believed, saying, that was, that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. That's these small bus corner boys. Everybody back on the small bus. 
Don't forget to get take your seat assignment. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Uh, uh, let's count again. One, two, four. They can't even can't even count to ten. How can they know the Ten Commandments? And the apostles and elders came together to consider the matter. Verse 7. And when there had been much disputing, like every day, day in, day out, these guys just can't go. I think I got it. I think I understand. I, I think there are. I think there is a church of the Gentiles. I think there is a different group of believers than my stupid corner boy nonsense. But no, they're like, wait, 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 we're still counting. Four, seven, uh... yeah. You listen to Apostle Tahar lately? He's so slow, the Lord has his mind so spun, he can't even he can't even do a video. And he still has 360 views. It's like, who's listening to this guy? What do they do? They just put it on play and go. I I can't move that slow. I I get they're boring enough as it is. He's not even saying anything. Takes him. It takes him ten minutes to um to pull up one scripture. Guy's just done. Um, and when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, "Men and brethren, you know how that a good while ago God made ch choice among us that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe." God made a choice among us. How dare these guys teach the Bible? I'm not even I'm not even that good. And I'm leaps and bounds beyond their stupidity. I'm I'm smart to begin with. I mean, it it doesn't take it doesn't take that high of an IQ to figure this stuff out. But no, they stay in their little their little waiting pond twerking and and talking about all kinds of nonsense. How many times are you going to say, "Oh, the the Gentiles are are Israelite foreigners." Or blah, throw up on myself. And God, which knoweth the hearts Bear them witness, giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did unto us. So, he's making a delineation between us and them. Giving them the Holy Ghost, even as he did to us. Us, them. Us, them. Us, them. Pull that Pull that out of your blue letter Bible. Your, your damn... Um, dictionary of, of wordsmith us them if us is if, if us is not is us over there then why wouldn't it be us and us if they're Israelites it's us and us it's just us over there and us here no it's them not us them go back to English um, third grade English us, that's that's one group. Them is another group. Us is one group. Them is another group. Can you get it? Remnant saved 144. <laughs> Stroke it. Us, them. That's what Paul's saying. Us, the, the Israelites, and them. The ones that aren't Israelites. Us, them. All around the small bus, a monkey chased the weasel. Do, 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 do. One, two, four, eight, nine. 
We don't know how many we got on the bus because they keep getting on and getting off because they know this is a funky religion. Black Hebrew Israelism. You guys need to get something straight there. And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness. Is it is it your heart or your head? Gabar? Is it your heart or your head? Aramlob? Where 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 do you where do you um, apprehend God? It's the same thing. Your heart and your head's the same thing. If you're talking shit, that means that's where your heart is. You're you're talking shit because you're full of shit. I talk the truth because I'm full of truth. And the truth is you're a bunch of small bus riding, ignorant corner boys that don't know the Bible, that are pushing something that you know nothing about. And you keep doing it. And you act so smart. Let's go to Ephesians 2 and 4 and write, okay? And the, and the Gentiles, they were Israelite foreigners, okay? All right? Who are you trying to convince? How many times should I read this one? And God, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness. Them. Bear them witness. We've already been bore witness. Israel already, we already know who we are. The Holy Spirit came to tell these gentle Christians, these loving, God-seeking people, You are mine. Come home. Come home. Daddy wants to Daddy wants you to get to know him. Yeah? Yeah. I'm of Israel. I know. I'm here to bear the witness to you through the Holy Spirit. And then we have these guys over here blocking the way. Pisses me off. Verse 9. I'll start, I'll start again. Had a rough night. The roommate came home, the COVID roommate, and um, she was worried about her son, her 25-year-old son, catching COVID. Did you tell him you have it? And I'm like, no. It doesn't matter. If, if, if he's going to get it, he's going to get it. So what it, What happens? They come home and they sit in the room right next to my room till 12 o'clock at night. She's just got over COVID and he's in there stewing in the COVID. I hope he gets sicker than hell. It's not a very nice thing to say, but it's like, that's why I didn't tell him. He's not smart enough. It's like, shouldn't she be telling him, you shouldn't be in here. I just got over COVID. Jeff has COVID. This whole part of the house is full of fucking COVID germs. What's he do? Blah, 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 blah. Till 12 at night, they're in there talking about, I don't know what. What's a 25-year-old what's a have to talk to his mommy about at 12 o'clock at night? Oh, you've been gone for 10 days, mommy. I missed you. These people, man. Anyhow, back to the gen, the Gentile, the Gentiles. Verse 9. And put no difference between us and them. Verse 9. Acts 15. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. crickets these guys won't answer they'll just put up another video no no I'll be back <coughs>